yesterday too. Yeah, even outside of those thunderstorms, winds were really up there. So it was a gusty day, and we're going to take a look at some of our peak wind gusts recorded. Uh, Eaton had a 56 mile per hour gust, and then we had a 53 mile per hour gust in Wilmington. Uh, a lot of 40 mile per hour gusts ranging from 40 to 49. Oxford, Wright Brothers Airport, Wright Patterson Air Force Base, Bell Fountain, right around 43 miles per hour. Uh, Xenia 41, and then Dayton, almost a 40 mile per hour wind gust. We stopped it right at 39. So gusty yesterday. We are expecting winds to be gusty again today, but not quite as high as we got yesterday afternoon. So that'll be good news. Uh, we don't have to worry about the gusts uh, doing any significant damage, but they still will be up around. 35 miles per hour as we head into the afternoon. We're expecting wind speeds to be sustained between 15 and 25. So lots of clouds today. Some showers develop this afternoon. So be prepared for another round of rain, but it's not going to be severe. So that part is nice. And we're just going to continue to see those temperatures drop for the weekend. Unfortunately, it looks quite chilly both Saturday and Sunday. Highs are going to be in the low 40s. And then we'll start to see numbers come up next week. Mid 40s Monday, upper 40s on Tuesday. A check of our satellite radar loop. You can already see those clouds increasing across the area. So it does look like it's going to be a mostly cloudy afternoon, if not cloudy. There are also some showers back to the west, some very light precipitation now working through Illinois. That'll continue to drift our way, and we expect some of that to reach us for the afternoon. It is a colder start. We're about 17 degrees colder than the same time yesterday. You add in a breeze to that, southwest wind at 20, gusting to 26, and it feels like 37. That's our current wind chill. Everybody's in the 40s, so a lot cooler. Even some low 40s, Bell Fountain and Richmond. And most of us should hit the low 40s as we head through mid morning. Future track has the clouds increasing, and a lot of us will still be dry at noon, but those showers really increase in coverage for the mid to late afternoon hours. We'll have some spotty rain around for the drive home at 5. Then tonight, we see temperatures drop cold enough that some snow showers will be possible. That'll be especially across the northern counties. Really not expecting much of that to accumulate at all. But tomorrow morning, we'll start off with some clouds and the potential of a flurry or two. Then in the afternoon, those clouds break up. We expect to see a good deal of sunshine. It's just not going to warm up much. Today, it's 46, windy and cooler with some afternoon showers developing. Tonight, we're still going to be breezy. We'll drop down to 30 with a few snow showers around. And then tomorrow, maybe a morning flurry. Otherwise, we'll get back to some sunshine in the afternoon. But we don't warm much. We'll see highs near 40. Sunday morning, down to 25 with a high of 42. And some rain or snow showers possible even Sunday. Monday and Tuesday look dry as we start that warm up. Couldn't rule out a few showers Wednesday, and then we'll get even warmer for the second half of next week.